can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So, um, first of all, I think I think it's interesting that you did this interview. So, shout out to you for doing that. Um, appreciate but, you. Um, and then shout out to you for being here too. By the way, I, I appreciate. Oh you. yeah, I was me and me and my wife was chilling. We were just watching, you know, because at the end of the day, uh, purpose of the interview was to whatever information we had, let everybody have it. That way, people can make their decisions for themselves. You feel what I'm saying? Right, but it didn't, it didn't feel like that though, because there's certain things that you could actually, there's certain contacts that you guys could probably provide, or at least help try to provide, to make sure that the fans or people who are watching get a better, you know, idea of what's going on. So to give you, uh, I know the the interview is two hours long, but to give you more of an understanding of why the interview is the way it is, is one, um, this was not planned. This was not a planned interview. This okay. actually happened. It was scheduled at 11, 11 p.m. And the interview was recorded at 12 a.m. Like So it's like literally it's an hour of things going on. So me and my wife, like we didn't even have time to type out questions. But this was mainly because uh, he wanted to address specifically the claims that uh, MTR had specifically set out for him on that video. And so this reaction was not even, I wouldn't even say this was an interview. This was supposed to be his reaction. He wanted to just do a reaction to it. So this is, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So who, who was mainly pushing for that interview though? Was it you, you guys? He requ or? No, no, he requested yeah. it. He requested so he was the one requesting it. Cause he, yeah, because so we, okay, if you, ahead. if you know the timeline from the pop, the balloon, um, the day he, they did the episode for the pop, the balloon, me and my wife had did a reaction and he had actually saw the reaction and he was a fan of the reaction. So then that following day is when we linked up and we did his first interview on the, on the platform. And it was uh, a video called weapon X tells all it. It was the one that kind of blew up. Okay. Um, from that point, after we did that interview, um, we kind of just like, you know, we let him do his thing. Cause we still got other stuff. We're not we're not an interview channel. We're just reaction, but that was just convenient. He was a fan. He reached out. We just did that. Okay, so let me ask you this then. Just, just yeah. being straight with you. What what are your general thoughts on his telling of the uh, story right now of what's unfolding, right? Do you think he's generally telling the truth? Where are you guys leaning on this? So one thing we, we made sure to stress in the video was that um, – the, at his ex wants to also do an interview, but he wants to do an interview with him and the ex. So when the day we dropped the action, huh? You think that's a wise thing to do? I it's it's out of my hand. It's not like I, I, I want a lot of people to know. It's not like like I saw one person in your chat saying like, oh, they're doing this so they can get clout and all that. We haven't interviewed a single person with us reaching out to that person. These are all people who have seen our stuff and they've came and asked us if we would like to have the conversation so they can clear things up. That's the direction our channel is going. We have not reached out and sought a single person except for the ex currently, but I had already had communication with his ex prior to because when we dropped the first interview, her fan base came and... I don't want to like say okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Her fan, some of her fans, not all of them, came and they were offended that we did an interview with him, and they okay. took the, they misconstrued what the interview was about. Our first interview with him was specifically about Pop the Balloon. At that point, we knew no allegations. We had no information. We just knew he was a fan of our reaction, and then the ex fan base thought we were oh you guys are supporting him and they came and accused us of all this other stuff and that's when i reached out to the ex i found her on tiktok and the ex basically told me flat out it's not you guys' fault you guys are just getting caught up in something that you guys were not in so from that point on after i had that message with the ex me and my wife told the ex we don't want any more part of it we're backing out of it um we're not going to pick a side because we don't know if you're lying and we don't know if he's lying. So we would rather just not even be involved with it at all. 
but but and that's why uh, we and I get that I get that right because yeah. you know you're uh, media wise you're trying to you know say hey we're just trying to get the story out there but it still doesn't answer the question though the answer the question is like do you based off of what you're hearing so far and the, I'm I'm sure because you're doing your due diligence you've probably seen him on an MCR stream do you think he's telling the truth? So there is things I've seen that I can back up his his side but then there's also things i've seen from the ex i can also back up her side so i'm kind of like the reason why we're really going neutral is really because we're still on the fence ourselves if that makes any sense because we don't know like a lot of things that we put in the video was actually all the general knowledge that we have besides there was one or two things he showed us that because we don't know if he'll get legal trouble for revealing it so we told him he has to reveal that to y'all on his own platform because i'm not i'm not getting in trouble because i want to you know do interviews and put stuff out and get him but, in legal trouble. but do you believe though because some of the stuff and i don't know how much you've watched of the stream and i don't expect you to watch my stream at all or anything like that yeah right? this is this but is I, my second time seeing you your... shout out to you shout out to you man yeah. uh but I, what, my thing is like when when you hear that legal troubles or this whole thing with the the, the severance pay and whatnot the, like the vibe i'm getting is it's stalling he's stalling because easily all, just giving a company name is not something that's going to warrant you to to lose any legal potential legal situations you're going to have so why is it so hard to even just even when someone is suing you to at least give you the name of someone who's suing you or or yeah, no 100 percent, 100 percent. you don't think that's a little far-fetched i get where you're coming from because you're trying to you know stay neutral but don't you think that's a little far-fetched of an explanation so Here's what I'll, I'll say, because I don't want to speak on his behalf, but I have seen something. Okay. That's fine. Um, he is open to speak with people about it when it comes to the job. I already know what the job, I know the business. So that's one thing I can, I said it in the video too. I know the business, but I did not find out about the business in a proper way. I found out when I was receiving the backlash from the exes and I, it was led to me getting a lot of information that quote unquote would be considered doxing. So that's why I'm not using that to say, Hey guys, I have this because I'm in California. Doxing is very seriously. Um, I've already reported these pages that sent me this information because these were not from him. These were from people who are against him and you know california does not play about doxing doxing is very seriously so i did the proper steps i reported it to the proper people and that's that but i have but, seen it don't you find it weird though like all these people calling in to get him fired but yet only a few people know about the company name and and, and that that's out there does, does that does that honestly make sense to you though like and i'm not denying the fact that maybe you do actually know the company name we don't know we're, we're just out yeah there. no at the end well, of the day I'm just I saying, like if you're looking at us like thinking about yeah. it rationally we're saying okay right. all these people knew his name and you're saying even the women came to you and gave you the company name in your um dms or chat or however you received that information so why isn't those same ex-girlfriends or somebody else who knew that information or out of the women who called why couldn't they just release it to the public where even well, that's what that's what we group, were. Though, that's right? what we are actually. We were actually, if we can get the ex, because we're still waiting on her response. Um, the ex, quote unquote, knows everything, so that's why we were leaving it up to if the ex. But why would it depend on the ex though, right? Because she, she's the one that even she didn't. She's care also about the her. one that she's also the one that's legally in one of the legal things with him. That's why. That's why we we try to. That's why we I tried to right, tell that's everybody. What I'm saying, yeah. though, like if she if, if she's able to leak that stuff to you, first of all, she's the one that leaked. She, no, it. she didn't leak it. No, no, no. Her she fan base. Her, her fan, fan base leaked base it. Did. Yes, her not her. Did. Do not. I don't want to put that, that claim on her. That that, that yeah. becomes problematic because if we're saying her fan base did. That means it's one more than one person that knew, right? right. So tell me, the fan base are that aggressive to 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 basically leak something, but not and call you know his job to get him fired, but not aggressive enough to put it on a mass social media platform where everybody would at least know the name of the company and so, verify for themselves. You don't find that strange. I will, I will say this, right? 
um, there's a lot of things that are happening because everybody's only seeing the stuff that's coming out on these videos and these live streams. But talking to both of them, there's it, it's a lot of things that are happening that is like way crazier than you would think. Like the lady's receiving death threats. He's receiving death threats. They're both going through things. They're both talking about taking legal action. That's why when I said I don't want to I don't want to say things on her half and I don't want to say things on his half, because if they're both taking legal action and that me saying something or claiming that they said something or trying to show off information that I quote unquote got from them, that can affect things legally. Right. Because if they're both going it shouldn't be going on your show to begin with. Right. I mean, that'd be right. smart. No, that's that's a hundred percent, and I agreed. I agree that's a hundred percent fair. But it's also, it goes back to my statement of when we got this information, we weren't looking for this information, and that's why we tried to stay out of this situation. Right, but it, it, even the fact that he the, he he because you you said earlier that he came to you guys for an interview. The fact that he came to right. you guys for an interview to further elaborate on this that means he's literally putting you guys in that situation to begin. But he with. came so, he came hey, for the saying, interview putting you guys he, in that situation where you're gonna have to cover it. Well, again, because if you don't mind, I, I kind of want to get into some of the uh, the I, I guess lack of criticism that 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 was had um, there uh, on his yeah. part. So I'd like to get to that later. But when people are looking at this, they're saying. Oh, Okay, well, I mean, it, it's kind of looks kind of funny, you know. It, it's kind of funny because you're not cer cer certainly it's not it's not a situation where he's, you know. Okay, you, you can at least we can at least get the name of the company to verify certain points that he's telling the truth, right? That's all so, we need. So like, one thing is like that. Like I don't think that should be too hard, right? So one thing that was said in our video was he made the he made the argument of if people really wanted to have the information and they really wanted to get these interviews he said he was open to reaching out to everybody the reason why the um he wanted to specifically talk about the mtr thing is because when mtr dropped that video and i watched it um i had talked to him on instagram and i said hey yo mtr just talked about you i thought you guys were cool because from what I'm understanding, when MTR had did his interview, I had gave some super chats showing like, hey, that's what's up. Like, I'm glad you guys are having a good crossover. You know, I, I'm glad you guys both got this interview. Cool. And then I look at my my YouTube again and that video came out and I'm like, hey, yo, what happened? Like, I thought y'all was good, you know, on some like mutual like, like, did you see this or whatever? He reached out and said, oh, I want to do a reaction to this. Would you mind? letting me use your platform again and it was like all right i mean if you want to talk about the mtr thing that's cool now when it comes down to the x thing we the reason why he knows we know about the x situation is because when we after we did that first interview and we got those the harassment from the group which i don't again i want to say it's not the ex herself it is just some people who are taking the story a little bit more passionate than her so i don't want to put that on her um he knew about that because when we were receiving the claims and we received the, the doxing information, we let him know, hey, there's people that are giving your information out. They have sent it to us. We have reported the channel, but we're just letting you know your information is starting to circulate. And that's okay. where we left that at. Now, but here's the thing, though, because like you, you you said earlier that he's willing to just reach out to anyone if his people want to talk to him. He okay. said it on the interview. He, he said it on the interview, but I think that's yeah. bullshit because clearly he he's not willing to be for, for come, forthcoming with like necessary information that could possibly help his case. Like this is all for him to help him, yet he's not helping himself. You understand? All you have to do is give us a name. You can get the funds released to you for GoFundMe. You can continue all these other things, but yet you're not doing that. And then when you actually get an interview on a platform with mm -hmm. media group tutorials who has a strong fan base who if you actually provide evidence they're willing to follow you some of them are in the chat right now they're just right. okay they're, they're, they're making up these different things to try to find a reason to see if this guy is innocent or telling the truth but that's all they need you had a big platform to do so why didn't you just take advantage of it instead you allowed it to get to this point where he's getting pressure now so fuck him i guess because he's trying to help you right all these different things it just doesn't bode too well so when he's saying he's willing to be open 
open and forthcoming and doing that. We all could see that's bullshit because he couldn't even do that with a big platform like MTR. So I don't I don't believe that at all. I believe there is some information. And I don't know what you guys know, right? And then again, mm. you know, the things going on, you said eventually it's gonna come to the light. It is what it yeah, is. It, it will. That's it, it will, so it will, we right? will say it will. So and that's why one thing we we stressed we stressed in our video is we are in the stance right now. Our channel is in the stance that whatever information that we can give, we just gonna give it because at the end of the day, our fans were invested for it. So that's the that's the least we can do is we can give you guys the information and y'all can make these, you know, y'all you guys can make your decisions because there's a lot of people asking us, so are you guys on his side? No. Are you guys on the exit side? No. Are you on MTR side? No. It's only gonna get worse. Cause you 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 guys have put yourself in that position now. Cause everyone knows this guy's an obvious liar. So now they're gonna be asking you guys on a daily, yo, what what's his own? If, if, listen, especially if he can't provide something as simple as a company name, you're gonna get pressure from your fans. You're probably gonna start feeling what MTR was feeling for a bit. Like, and I'm not gonna hold y'all. That's probably what's gonna happen. Cause they wanna know. Like, one of the easy questions I, I wanted to know is, okay, this guy's coming up here. He's crowning you guys, saying, oh, well, this is hurting me. That's hurting me. Why didn't you guys ask about the hundred thousand dollars he had in the bank account? Honestly, we didn't ask about it because we had already talked to him about it in the first interview. Okay, what was uh, the answer to that? Uh, he just broke it down that just because he has a hundred k in the bank doesn't mean that it's something that you just randomly go to a bank and pull out and start using. That was the answer he gave us. But, right, but you you, yeah. you understand though, like as, just as, as, as a, like a man, right? Like if yeah, no. Know, I get, I get, so I want to clarify this. I get every, I get everything you're asking me, right? Okay. And I understand everything you're asking me. It's one of these things with, I'm not, I'm new to this YouTube content stuff, right? And it's also, I don't play when it comes down to once people start showing me legal documentation that they're dealing with court things and stuff like that. I choose to like all right that's none of my business it's it's also knowing that like i said i've only done two interviews so i'm not a professional interviewer i'm a reaction channel but once people show right. me stuff you're like this kinda, it's like in this boat now so we can't it's too late yeah to go and it's on. like it's one of those things i'm now. in this situation i'm yeah. in a situation i never plan to be in so it's like people immediately think i'm going to have the answers or be able to make bold statements but it's like if I don't want to be in this in the first place, and this is kind of something that has plopped in my lap, I'm not going to be as bold to start making claims and going, no, I'm lighting this bonfire. He did this and she's wrong. No, no, one, no, one, no, one, no one is saying for you to do that because obviously now you're, you're having that same mentality of, okay, well, I have a brand too, right? So again, if you, you now that you're in the middle of it, wouldn't it make sense for you to at least either nudge the other party to say, hey, okay, um, I also have a brand to protect, right? I got over 25,000 subscribers and, you know, my channel's growing. I need to make sure that you're 100% with us because, you know, we're, we're the ones who are carrying the story here. So can you at least give us a company name? Like, if he's not even willing to do that, I mean, is that something that you think is trustworthy? It's one of those things, like I said, I, I, I get what people are saying. The fact that people want to know the company name and he hasn't given it. Oh, yeah, 100%. I understand it. So then I, I guess then why not do what's best for you and your channel and just let people know what's going on? You don't have to be, you don't have to insult the guy. You don't have to be. No, because, like because you he's have already. It just makes him look worse if he's telling you not to release it. Because he's already, he's already told us that he already plans to, with his channel, he already plans on letting all that information go anyway. So. That's why I on kind of I'm channel, so he has a YouTube he, channel. He's gonna yeah, he's going to make he's going to start doing his own things. That's what I'm saying. So like, like, let me ask you this. I'm not asking you as from your channel perspective. I'm just asking you like from what would you do type scenario, right? Wouldn't it make more sense to release that info on a massive platform with a massive reach rather than a brand new YouTube channel that you're trying to get off the ground? If you're asking me, man, from, to man, man, to man, I don't need. The, if you're asking me, of, if you're asking me as a, if yeah. you're asking me in general as a person, as yes, a that, person, man, to man, like as that, you, as a person, that sense? yeah, that does it makes sense, right? But then, if you ask me as with a content creator's mindset, I his his route makes sense. 
And that's the thing that a lot of people wrong because like a content because he's that, already it makes sense because he's already he's already buzzing. There's already a lot of things going around his name. And at the end of the day, people the only reason why our videos blew up is because he was actually there to say it, right? Versus right, right. if I would have did that interview and I would have just said, like, oh, here are the text messages that he gave me when um Here's the, I texted him and here's some messages that he said, and I made a whole video based off of these text messages, right? Do you feel like the video would have circulated versus him actually being there saying something? No, it doesn't make sense. Here's why it doesn't make sense. Because as a content mm -hmm. creator, I'm, I think like a content creator, I would want to go on a bigger platform to, to spread it. it. It would make more well, sense. Well, he already, but like, then, no, then no, again, no, no, we this also... Is what, this is what even more established channels would do. They would still go on larger platforms, even if there's a scandal right. going on, to go ahead and get that uh, uh, story spread around to get their voice out there, right? So it makes more sense as a content creator to go on a lad larger channel and just deliver the receipts there instead of stalling, waiting weeks, and then trying to do it on your channel that's just getting started, because then no one is going to see it. Because think about it, his reputation was already tanked on the largest channel out there. You want to sit there and tell me that he's more than willing to let his reputation go get tarnished on a massive platform but isn't willing to get it fixed on a massive platform and wants to do it on his show where he's going to be struggling to get off the ground i get he has buzz right now but the buzz mm. he has is not good at all people think he's a scam well, have you been have you been keeping up with him on um his his ig with all his updates that he's been talking about i'm not on ig like that. Oh, okay. See, that's another thing I'm noticing. So on his IG, he's already brung all this stuff up about the, the the collaborations and the interviews and the people he's going to be working with. And they're they're bigger than they're bigger than us, they're bigger than NTR. One of them is he's supposed to do something alongside the shade room and so stuff like that. So he it's it's not like he's not he's already going to somewhere bigger. Our channel is just something that you know, he just, that was his first thing. But now his it's beyond us. You no, know I, I really don't think so. Because you're all the last ones with the keys to, the, to to proving his case. He doesn't really have anything else. Like, I don't think, like, anybody who hosts him after you guys, like, and this is what we're going to get into with the, with the criticism, right? Because anyone mm -hmm. who hosts him out of, out, of, out of you guys are going to be harsh. They're going to be, like, and not harsh in a way of, like, they're going to be roasting him or anything like that. And, and I'm not I'm not even, I wouldn't say I'm being harsh to you or anything like that. Uh, I don't think you're being harsh at all. I, it sounds to me like you just want to know. Asking, asking pointed questions, right? Like, right. I mean, like, pointed questions is like really, really good follow ups. Like, okay, let's get back to the stalking scenario. Now, you mentioned on MTR stream, or at least it was misconstrued on MTR stream, however you want to phrase it, right? That you showed up in company's truck to show up to, to stalk your girlfriend. And even on your stream, the one we reacted to, he low key kind of admitted that, saying, well, I, the tracking part, anyways. And he admitted that, saying, well, I was in love. I don't care if you're in love, bro. That's not a justification for stalking on company's time, right? So these are things that I would, even with, with you guys, I'd have been like, okay, let's press him further on this because this has to do with your reputation as a channel too, wouldn't you say? But we've already we've already called him out on that. Okay, we've what's already, the answer? Yeah. We called him weird for that. Yeah, yeah, you call him weird, that's fine. But like, like yeah. let's ask her like, why, why he did that. What was the point of showing up to stalk his ex-girlfriend and that's what the not. but that but that's what the ex the interview with him and his ex is supposed to address. So we gotta wait till his ex. Do we even know if his ex wants to talk to him live? And I why wouldn't. Would that live? I wouldn't. So I wouldn't be bringing it up if we weren't already trying to set it up and get everything. That's why I'm. That's why I'm telling you. So it's like a lot of these. I feel like it's as unfortunate. The thing on the internet is everybody wants information right now, right now, right now, right now. And the thing is, he's already extended the window to the ex. I've already communicated with the ex. I'm just waiting for her final feedback. And then that's that's done daughter. They're going to do that. So that's where you're gonna get all the the what the stalking thing, the things um the people have been claiming that he's done against women. That's where all that's at. The purpose of this video that we did was specifically for the MTR thing. Just like the first interview we did was specifically for Pop the Balloon. Fine. Let's let's actually get into that. What do you what do you think about this whole MTR scenario and how he he's now against the whole idea of supporting this guy? So I told Aaron this, and this is on the video, and I told him this before. I said you have to look at it from MTR's perspective. I understand why MTR went the route he went because at the end of the day, I was there when Alvin Preach dropped the video, and I was there when um when he got all that backlash because i was watching the live stream when it happened 
So I was there. So I told Aaron flat out, I understand why MTR is doing this because when you have your own audience and you have all these other audiences going, you supported this scammer, you set this up, you did this, this is your fault. Why don't you address it? Why didn't you call them out? I understand it because it's the same thing that happened to us when we did, we were just trying to be pop the balloon fans. We only wanted to talk about pop the balloon. That interview, if you look in those comments now, it's just people flooding. Why didn't you guys call him out on this? Do you know he's in this? Why did you give this guy a platform? So I understand 100% where MTR is at. Luckily, people in my audience understood that, hey, Kite is only trying to talk about Pop the Balloon. He didn't know anything about all this other stuff. Yeah, so, but you, you would say as, as those relevant information are coming in, that'd be something you'd want to ask while he's there, right? Like, hey, uh, uh, br bruh, like uh, people are saying this. Why not just what's what's going on here can you elaborate a little bit what is this we've mean? already we've already everything so everything you're saying right now has been a conversation we've already thrown at him i've told him already right so what not, do you think of those answers he gave back with you i didn't see the conversation you had with him so i'm i'm, I'm asking for your answer oh, if you watch if you watching the, the conversations you've already had i didn't watch it though <laughs> like based on the conversation you guys already have what do you think of those answers do you believe they were genuine or do you believe it was just stalling i told him flat out um and it's in the interview too with his answers he gave him, I said, the answers you give me do not prove you're innocent, but they also do not prove you're guilty. And I told him flat out, no matter what, I want to hear the rest of the story. I want to so, hear the rest. At the start of the stream reacted to, he showed a card that was supposed to be his alleged plumbing card, his, right? Yeah, his plumber card, yeah. So did you get a full picture of what Yes, that, uh, like? I was trying to tell you, I was trying to tell you to help you while you're doing this because I was actually, re regardless of what people think, like even right now when we're having this conversation, I was actually enjoying just listening. I was chilling. So um, one thing I've been pointing out, every time people have given me updates on that video, the video you're watching now, I've been updating the um, the pinned comment on the video. So if you, if you, back out the video and you got onto the pinned comment i've been putting updates based off of information that people have been posting that's why right right I my thing, but my thing is have you seen the full like okay let's say because he didn't show the full yeah idea. i'm trying to get no no no. i'm trying to get so if you if you go into the pinned comment there's two links there's one link that um daphne the the uh lady that was the one making the claims or whatever i don't want to put words in her mouth but the one that was talking to mtr she has already uploaded his full um plumber card and then there's also a link so you can verify that photo is is his yeah you can you can click it right now if you just but that is, that, you, does that match what he put up here with your yes interest? yes that's that's why i wouldn't have pinned it if it wasn't exactly what he showed me so like i said if you if you want to do it right now on your stream so your audience can see it it's it's pinned let comment me, right now yeah it's pinned comment up. yeah it's, it's out, it's your, out there for everybody show, right yeah you're already on the video so if you just uh on full screen it you can just click it let me see here This one on Instagram? Yeah, there's two. There's one on Instagram, and then there's one that somebody had commented because they had researched it, and it led to the site where he got the certificate from. I don't know if the link still work, but it should still be there. And these are just recently pinned, so it's not like I tried to change it or nothing. We just got those. So yeah. All right. So <laughs> hang on. Let me let me open them. Yeah. All up here. So if you want to show it to your audience, you can. It's all there. I'm about I, I, to. I'm about yeah. To. If they're not working, let me know. I can see if I can get you another link. All right, let me. I'm trying to get both links opened up here. All right, so the first one he had. Okay, so that's this one here. Yeah. Um, let me show this one here. All right. And that, I think the first one is the one that the lady who's going to do the video this about him Quint, actually. So this is Quinn of ability, accountability. Yeah. This is the card that he showed up, right? So it says, right. Journeyman license, Cine of Phoenix, um, gas one filter and he's actually filter. he's actually going at her with that because she i guess i don't allegedly showed this without his permission so now they're going back and forth about it but she's saying like you know like it's public so here it is but um this is the one she uploaded and then if you go to that next link it should say something like a guy um put it in there that's the one where the guy actually went to the website to see if it was registered and he posted that one so I pinned it because he went and found it. So I was like, all right, I'll pin it for you guys. 
Okay, the but whole point of yeah. her comment, though, next to this actually kind of makes sense, though, because she's saying, "You see how easy it was for me to get this is one of the most. This is one of the documents, the real MTRS Aaron Four. He stalled mm -hmm. for days. I got it in seconds. He got. He just got his journeyman license in February of this year." For the city of Phoenix, it lasts three years. The Arizona Register of Contractors said you need to be licensed in the state of Arizona to perform plumbing services. That would mean that job you had or that job you said you had hired you recently before allegedly firing you. That right there is what I was reading. That you made a good point. So, so it, 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 okay, let's say this. Let's say he, he is a licensed uh, plumber, right? Right. It, it, this is the main point, though. It's the GoFundMe we're talking about here, because like it's like, dude, you're saying you got fired from a job where you got your card as recent as February. For the um, well, this is a renewal, though. This doesn't mean that this is um, it doesn't mean that this is the first time he's gotten this this journeyman's license. So this is a renewal. So, did he tell you the first time he got his journeyman license? No, no, no. I didn't ask. I didn't ask that deep. So I think that's so, the information we need to know before we know what's right. going on. Like, but don't then know that goes back to that goes back to what I told you when I first got in here. All the information we have gotten, we have been trying to make sure we put it out for you guys. So the like even the stuff that you're showing right now, even how right now you don't even agree with him. To us, that's fine. Because at the end of the day, this information was free game for you guys. That's the whole point of doing the video is free game information. We wanted to give everybody free game because we felt like there was too many people making speculations on, oh, well, I heard know, this and I heard this. You not know she had up. It says this, you, you can't renew these licenses. You got to get a new one. But you said earlier right. some license renewal, right? It should be a re license renewal because this is in Arizona, but he also did plumbing in um, New Mexico. Can He's I, a journeyman. Oh, so, yeah. so bad at because I, I thought I just saw that post that popped up here. Um, okay, so let me go to the other one. Um, it's got the same registration number as the card. Um, yeah. So this is the one that this is second link. You said so this is the, this is the this is somebody in our in our comments. Uh, like probably an hour or two into the video being live, they said um, this is the same link that they sent to. I don't want to name the the. Queen of Accountability. They said that they had sent this to MTR and the Queen of Accountability, basically trying to tell them like this information wasn't impossible to look up. So right. Uh, my, I mean, it's renewal eligible, but it doesn't say this was a new renewal. And if she is right so far, it's a February of this year. Right. So like literally four, four or five months ago, barely, right? That, that's, that's he got this. So, so at the end of the day, and so if it, then I guess I misplayed on words. I don't know, but I don't want to. That's why I'm saying I don't want to make definite statements. I'm just giving you guys stuff that is like I'm even in a renewed date category. Mm -hmm. here, there's nothing here, so you you can't say it's a renewal if there's not a. But date then there. if so you the video, he also yeah. he also states he also states in the video that Arizona was not the first place of his um, plumbing. He also okay. states that he was doing it in New Mexico. So does he have a New Mexico license? Can he provide you? He said he said anybody that wants to do the next interview for him, if they want that documentation, he has no problem providing it for you. That's I why mean, he's already he's already tapped in with y'all. Why? I mean, y'all already seem to have a good relationship. Just ask him for that info. The thing is, we don't we don't know him. I, 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 it's, I, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I'm gonna keep it a stack. No, it's because. Right? No, I, I, I'm gonna keep it a stack. A lot of people are thinking, oh, he did, he went on your interview twice. You guys must have a close relationship. We don't talk to this dude. Like we we're not we he's he's a cool guy from what we talk to, but we don't actually talk to him. Like like I said, yeah, yeah, he, he chose yeah. you guys because he can like he, he can easily go to any other platform to go talk to him, right? But well, he was a fan. Of, he, he was a fan of our, but he was a fan of our reactions. So exactly that's the only so he has, basis he has, of the. But that's rapport, though, right? So he already has some kind of rapport with you already just because he's a fan. Because, like me, he won't talk to me. He probably won't talk to MTR again because he doesn't have good rapport with them anymore, right? But with you, he still does. So why does he just tell you that information? I Honestly, I haven't asked him because, honestly, And like this I is said, what we're it, talking about. You, you Like, you, these are questions that, like, when people say, okay, some, I'm not saying it's you specifically, but when we right. look at all these other channels, even the first interview that MTR did, it was like, okay, these are questions you need to be asking people like that. We got to be, we got to be pointed here with our questions because again, 14 grand is on the line here. 
It's not. It's not chump change either. Right. And so that's why I can say I understand what you guys are. You guys are getting it. And that's why we have been stating it the whole time. These interviews are based off of what they are. There's a lot of information that when we recorded the first interview, we didn't know about. Then when he requested to do a reaction to MTR, MTR, that was the basis of what we talked about. It's not like we're having conversations like, hey, man, are you also going to do this when you do the recording? Are you also going to do that? It was just, hey, I want to do this. I want to react to the video. Can you set the video up? Yep. Boom. Let's get it started. And that was it. That's basically but how the conversation here, even here. It doesn't even state a company either. Right. This is so not my link. This is a link that somebody. Well, no, I, I get it. No, no. But I'm, I'm trying to get you to see what I'm seeing, though, as someone yeah. who would normally ask a question, like, because I, 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 I tend to investigate shit myself. So I look for certain things. Right. So I'm just saying, like, me, me and you being on the same wavelength here, like, OK, right. at least if he was fired or whatever company that he was working for at the time and he got licensed recently this year and you and I can agree that this wasn't a renewal because there's no renewal date under that tab here. So that means that. If he actually had a job, it would show up at the company portion right here, right? Right, but then it goes back to the later points in the interview where he talks about where his how he was actually working in New Mexico and stuff like that. Right, now, so when, if, but that should wanna, be a um, problem, just like he had the card here on Instagram, right? Or uh, maybe it wasn't him, but just like he was able to show you the card, he would have no problem actually showing the other licenses. That and he got. so that's why I, I keep I keep referring back to the interview because he. He addressed but the this interview. Isn't going to help because we know in those interviews those questions weren't but asked. Then my, right? But then that goes back to the point I'm trying to make: is you're right. asking me questions, and I can only go off of in, in, information I have from the interview because no, I'm the just interview is the information I know. That if I was in your shoes and I had that interview that we were reacting to just now. I would have asked and got the answers to, right? So I'm asking you because I don't. I, maybe there's something in the background that you guys knew, and maybe you're but not with this. But I'm gonna, okay. So so look, but I want I want to hold him. on, right? But now I want you to put I want you to put yourself in my shoes, right? Yeah. Because all these questions are questions of this is what these same questions you're asking is the reason why I said I'm not picking a side in this, right? Because I will admit I've thought of this too, but. I but also hold on because 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 if you're gonna if we're gonna have this conversation, you gotta take my words for what they are and not try to mold it because I'm telling you exactly what it is, cut and dry, what's in the paint. It's the flat out. The first interview was only about Pop the Bloom because that is specifically only thing that we contacted him about. This second interview, when he reached out, was specifically only about him reacting to MTR. This was not us doing more research because we had already washed our hands of the situation. Okay. That's, that's all I'm trying to tell. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to sit there because I li I'm listening to you and I'm like, yeah, I agree with you, but I can't sit there and go back in time and be like, why didn't I ask you this? Because in my mindset, when I'm starting the video, I'm only thinking about what the video is going to be. I'm only think, like I said, we did, we, we found out he wanted to do it at 11. We started recording at 12. That's it. There's no, there was no, oh, all day I'm going to reach out to you. It was 11, 12. And then we got done recording by one and the video was uploaded by 11 the next day. So it was, we didn't, even the questions we asked on that, on that video, these were not typed out questions. These were not planned out questions. That's why you notice he did majority of the stopping in the video because it wasn't even supposed to be a designated interview. It was supposed to be his reaction to the MTR video. I, I, I guess. I mean, it is what it is. Because, like, it, you know, it, let's say if I was in your shoes, like you asked earlier, I'd have probably, that's probably definitely what I would do, right? So if he's watching and if he's as open as you say he's open to have conversations with anybody, which I highly doubt he is, the invitation is open, my dude. Come up here. And if you're not scared and you won't answer the question, then maybe I'm asking, I mean, to be honest, maybe I'm asking the wrong people, right? Maybe I should be yeah. asking him. Those and questions. that's why, that's if why I open, said, that's why I said, want to own up to it, right? But I'm just right. saying that there, there's certain things when you're looking at something like this, it's just like, there's certain yeah. And so with the yeah. information you're giving me right now, even right now, right? A lot of people can concert, like, can try to see, like, oh, well, maybe he's pressuring him to answer these questions. Right now, I'm taking what you're asking me right now, and I'm using this as a learning thing because, like I said, we're not professional interviewers. This is technically we've only interviewed him, him, and one other pop the balloon person. Other than that, we are only we have only done reaction content. 
So were we the maybe we should have allowed the interview to go to more professional people if people want to make that argument? Yeah, that's cool. For our perspective, well, I, I it would say it's not allowing them because obviously, if he gives you the interview, you guys deserve to, you know, give that deserved interview. I mean, it is what it is. You guys can take that opportunity. It's just, it's just, you know, when because my thing is when you say prep work and you know, not this recent interview, but the last one you did, I get it. I understand. It's just some one of those things where you're when you're looking at all these other inconsistencies, those are things that I want to just get squared away right off the bat, right? And I'd be a little bit more pointed about it than just, you know, yeah. it, saying, okay, maybe we don't ask this or that. Now, that's all and, I'm just saying, right? Yeah, but, and it, so that's why we took the and that's why that's exactly why that exact thinking right there is exactly why when me and my wife talked about it, my wife already and shout did out to her, by the way, too. I Thank think you, so that's much. what you guys are doing doing the yeah. same together. That's awesome. And the sad part is she 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 was the main one who wanted to wash her hands of this because my wife she doesn't do this internet stuff very well. This is a even the people with the harassment that's been coming to us about it. Um, a lot of people don't realize that's a it's nerve wracking. Our phones go off all day with people going. You guys need to go talk to next. Hey, go talk to next. Go talk to the social media territory, yeah. man. And you're gonna have yeah. to get used to that. And you're gonna have and a I know, and you know what the sad part is, and that's why that's why most people right now, right? Most people would be afraid to even come on and with the questions you're asking, a lot of people would not want to come on here and answer it. But the thing is, my whole point is I'm a Christian-based channel, so transparency is very important to me. That's why when me and my wife talked about this, the hour that he said he wanted to do the reaction. I told my wife specifically, when we do this reaction, one, we are going to try to remain as unbiased as possible, meaning that even if he says something that we, oh, I really agree, we're not going to give that reaction because at the end of the day, this is not about us anymore. This is about people who are invested in the in what he has to say. It's not about us. And two, any information that we are given we're going to put it out there to be transparent because at the end of the day, just like everybody wants to know, we want to know too, especially since yeah, I, he's I been on it. our brand. I yeah. feel that my thing is like my curiosity for knowing it just leads me to asking certain questions that I don't and care. I, who I, you are. I, and I you know what? Know. You're not wrong for asking. You know your what I'm saying? So, and, and you, you also know that you had those same thoughts too, as well. I just think for the future reference, if you, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say discount. No, give me, actually, give me, I, give me the advice. I want you to give me the advice. I'm not, I, would say, I, would I want say you to give me the advice. reference, man. If you got something yeah. on your chest and it don't make sense, ask the question. I say, definitely don't be a dick about it. I don't like to be a dick. Even when I'm talking to people. Yeah. I'll, I'll clown you. <laughs> here and there but i'm real respectful when having a conversation because ultimately I, it's the conversation that matters to me right so you could be respectful about asking these questions but if deep down you're having these thoughts I, I, it'd be a good idea to just let it be known to the person you're interviewing so that way for your audience because like you mentioned earlier y'all are not best friends you barely know the guy but you do owe it to your fans though so those are the people yeah you have and that's why to. that's so, why if you look at the um if you when you whenever you do finish reacting to the video right if you look at, there's going to be a point where one, I tell him when this information comes out, if you're guilty, you are guilty. And if you are innocent, you are innocent, but we are not going to be the people that are advocates of defending you. And we are not going to be the advocates of people that are, um, accusing you. And he understood that. And I told him, because if it comes down to it, we we don't know what you did. All we know is what you're telling us. And that's why when we do the X thing, if we at any point see that the X is telling the truth, or if you are telling the truth and people are trying to, you know, like get aggressive with each other because you don't want the truth to come out, we're going to shut it down. Because at the end of the day, you guys well, have well, now well, brought well, a lot of people into it. the X was telling the truth, though, especially about the stalking and the, the tracking, because he admitted that on MTR show. That was undeniable. We know that. Yeah, but then there's there's but more that, things. I mean, the thing that, is, I'm just saying, when we're talking about credibility wise, he's already like credibility wise, he's already ruined because he did that to himself. He had first said she was a liar, and then he came out and out of his mouth. It wasn't that the uh, somebody else put a receipt out there that proved his innocent. It, it was his mouth. He self snitched and proved that she was right, which led to the whole reason MTR apologizing to the ex because before that MTR was full game in in going at this. Woman. So here's why. Like, here's why. Like, right. I'm going I'm to give you insight on why we were like, okay, we're down to do the interview with you and the ex, right? Um, when, when the ex, when the ex's fan base had reached out mm -hmm. and they were blowing it up and they were blowing us up and we brought up the claims. 
I said, hey, man, I actually suggested he find a different channel, a better channel to if he was going to do this, get some legal people. And if they say he can do the interview with somebody else, by all means, do your thing. Right. But I um, I said, if me, if we do the interview with the ex, like her fan is re requesting, I told him, OK, if we do that. You need to come with all your receipts and all your evidence for your claim. And can she I, can needs I, to. Can I say, I don't think he's going to do that. that well, he, but, but I'm, I'm getting to the, the point. point. So when. I, okay, go ahead. But here, here's what, here's where I've, I was in your same thing, right? Because when I heard the claims, I'm like, dang, like, is he going to do it when I send him this and I tell him this? Is he going to be like, okay, cool. He was actually the one was like, I want to do it. I want her to come out. I'll pay her to do the interview with us. That's how much I want to prove my innocence. And at that point, I'm like, okay, so maybe there is something that he can prove that we don't know about. And I, so that's the, the reason why I push back against that real quick is just that if he could have proved against that, he would have done that a long time ago. Second of all, I think that wh why does he even need to speak to his ex? His ex has been on other shows already and speaking has about she? this stuff. Um, I, was she on Great Bill Show or something like that? I thought she was on Great Bill Show. Shout out to Great Bill. I don't know uh, if you're there. I don't know. Uh, but she went on his show she's already talking about it. this already. So, I mean, it's not, uh, I, 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 my, my, I guess what I'm not understanding is why do we even have to wait for her? And not only that, why is he demanding that she? He then does it if he's waiting for her to bust out the receipts that's gonna save his skin right now why didn't he just do that when he was on the biggest platform out there it just doesn't make any type of sense whatsoever and with that to note me, it just seems like we're gonna have more of the same thing where it's just gonna be an opportunity for him to try to go at her like personally and then we're gonna see more drama shit out there which is fine i mean we're all for the bullshit but it's just one of those things that when it comes down to getting to the main point are you hmm. lying about getting fired? I don't think this is gonna really help. And it goes back to my point of I made sure I made sure to ask him on my interview. I made sure to bring it up. I said, if people reached out to you right now after they watched this and said they want to have an interview because they have questions to you, are you willing to talk with these people? And so now on video, he says yes. So now the balls in you. You're gonna moderate. You gotta be. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. This is what. No, no, no. This is what. Hold on. This is him out on the cell phone tracking and the the, yeah. the company work going to her vehicle. I don't care if he wants to justify it of him being in love or whatever the fuck he wants to justify it as. As a moderator, you gonna have to be uh, off front with that. Oh it's yeah, hundred percent. So when I'm talking about is concerning. When I'm no hundred percent. I already. I've already told. I've already told both of them. Um. That stock is just not okay. Yeah, I already told them. I already told both of them. If we do, if we do, me and my wife do the interview with you guys, we're not letting either of you. If we see any type of manipulation tactic, if we see any type of straw manning, if we see any type of tap dancing from either side, we are going to hold you guys accountable to it. But the thing I'm referring to is how you have a lot of questions now. How you said he won't reach out to you in this video is proof. We just asked him. Would he be willing to talk to people that reach out to him? And this is why I'm hey, saying I, the, 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 if he's watching right now, hit the link. I'll, I'll, I'll pin the link right now. I don't now. know if hop he's on. here, so I wouldn't know. Like, 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 hop on like, or hit me up on Discord, hit me up on Instagram if you want. If that's your preferred method, I'll check my Instagram. Yeah, so he said he said he's willing to talk to anybody that is willing to have the discussion. I'm and all willing. That. So I'm willing to have the discussion. Come on up. Let's talk about it. Yeah, like right so, here. But so I'm, I applaud you. I hope you. If I hope he reaches, I, I don't think he yeah. would. Though that's the thing. I, I mean, it's like what it's. There's a lot of things that I I say that exact same thing, but I never expected to for him to be like, hey, I want to do the reaction thing. You get me? Because after we did the first pop the balloon, after he did MTR, but I only got twenty. I only have twenty k. MTR is like what seven? Bro, eight? We're 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 the same boat then. Right. So different. so now look at it from my perspective. Is one, I'm not a professional interviewer. Right. Two, I'm I'm relatively a small channel. And so once I saw, oh, he got stuff with the shade room, he got stuff with MTR, he got stuff doing all this. My mindset was after we did that interview, it was, well, at least you got one, like time to go, you know, get back to your reacting thing. So when I get that message saying, like, hey, I want to do the reaction to MTR with you guys, it's like, of course, I'm like, oh, snap. All right, well, I guess I get a second one. My mindset is not like everybody else where everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'm the guy that's going to have the exclusive scoop. It was just like, oh, OK, cool. You feel me? Like, I guess I get to do another one.
So that's just my mindset. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, Aaron Sloan. I mean, you see, I, I'm I'm not like listen. I'm clowning your ass. I'm gonna have to, right? But I'm not gonna be disrespectful. I'm gonna ask you questions. But again, I again, I'm personally thinking you're not gonna show up. Prove me wrong, right? I'm a. If you're watching, uh, hit me up. Or if you're watching right now, hit the link. Hop on up. Let's talk about it. But other than that, I mean, I, I personally don't think you're gonna do it. Just to be honest, <laughs> I really don't. Because hey, hey, you know, all, all I can say is. Hey, if you, I, just, I don't know if you plan on all the platforms. I just don't I don't know think if you plan on watching the rest of the video. I don't know if you plan on watching the rest of it, but uh, probably not. The rest of the interview probably the, this interview. Well, he does address he does address other things, but if you're if you're like, like, focused, we, we go over that right now since it was your interview. Let's talk about it. Um, I mean, I mentioned the yeah. card thing. I don't. I don't like. We already just so the, yeah, the card thing. Going. Okay, so not done talking about it, right? This okay. This so what else? Uh, what else? Whatever I can answer, I'll answer for you right now. All right, let me get this super chat real quick. Uh, Taylor with the. Three to oh, two dollars super chat says, uh, uh, no, no, glassy eyes with two dollars super chat. Shout out to you, says, uh, Aaron realized you two simp money flows better than plumber money. I, I'm telling you, bro, these these pill poppers they know how to spend. Uh, Tony shot to you for the five says, up, fam. Doesn't pop the balloon guy's head look like Squidward's Eastern Eastern Island head house from SpongeBob? I'm like, nah, it reminds me of Stonehenge, but I don't know. I, I but here's the thing though, like, I, it's just. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I just need to know what company this is, right? Uh, shout out to Pink Pill for business with the $10 super chat. Says, uh, this is the Pink Pill. I came on my other channel because one of your goons either tie me out or ban me for no reason at all. Hey, yo, who did that? Mods, who did that? Own up to it because I'm going to research it right now. If you did it, let me know. Put it in the Discord. Let's talk about it. Undo it because you're not supposed to get your fifis involved in this. All right, Mods, we talked about this. I'm going to start taking wrenches away, and I don't give a fuck. Y'all know that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. If you day one or not, if you're breaking the rules, you get your wrench taken. All right? You can get it You can get it back, but to stop banning people. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, let's get – make sure Pink Pill gets her uh, uh, gets her unbanned. unbanned. Um, shout out to you for letting me know. Uh, Taylor with the $2 Super Chat says, the card is cap. I Googled. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Do, do you, Again, I, I think – let's just go over the card a little bit because I don't think – I mean, it had a little seal on it, but yeah, it's, it's the seal of Arizona on the card. The um, a lot of people, a lot of people were uh, because when we uploaded the video today, of course, everybody was going off about like, why didn't you guys show it? Why didn't you guys show it? Um, we pointed out in the in the pin comment the reason why we didn't point it out is because if this is his private information, then we don't want to be the person that they say, oh, yeah, y'all doxed him. And again, but it's not if it's, if it, well, you won't be able to be blamed for it because, yeah, of all, but, but you got to remember, you got to remember this is this is before we found out Queen um, of Accountability had uploaded this. So we didn't know she had uploaded this before we before we did the video. When we did the video, we only had when he had showed us this. So again, I personally think this card's legit. And the reason why I think the card's legit is because the number actually matches what I see over here, right? Yes. So that, that same number matches. What goes against him though is the 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 lack of company that's here. There's no company listed and the date in which he got this card issued. Because the time frame basically this right here actually disproves everything he said. Right, because the time frame does not match up. Like, bro, it doesn't match up, and it would have made more sense if it was a renewal, right? But we know this is a fresh license, and this was only like four or five months ago. That's not that long ago. So he just got it, but he's claiming a show he was on a month ago. Uh, shortly after that, women called in to getting fired, but we don't even have a company listed. So that means that I mean, he wasn't even working. At, was he even working at a company like four months ago? He, These so are questions you gotta he, ask, right? Yeah. So what he let us know, what he let us know was he does have, he is working for a company, and he also is a traveling, um, traveling journeyman. So that is plumbers that go around with other. They so he pairs up. Right. With a, but so when he, you first get a license, though, right? You, there's a yeah, company that so, sponsors you, right? So why isn't that company four months ago sponsoring him? At least we would know that there's a name to a potential company. So get, some right? of the some of the some of the master plumbers he's been working out with, I mean, working with, with his journeyman license, have also came out on social media to back him. So they've been uh, basically vouching for him as he goes back and forth with. Um, the lady, uh, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but her. So with that note, he has also pointed out in the interview that 
the information that they pulled up in the video where she said, oh, we looked up your LLC in Arizona and California. Um, they never heard of you. They don't know you. He said, first off, that was wrong because his LLC was in New Mexico. New Mexico was the main place of him working. That's and then fine. He, but then we yeah. would have a New Mexico license, right? right? And I, I, in my well, mind, I imagine need a license to perform in that state. Otherwise, I think you, I think you need a license to perform in every state, right? Yeah. So I think the reason why I think I can't say he, this is why I can only go by what I think. Okay. I think the reason why he showed this one is because this one is the most relevant because he is currently in Arizona. Yeah, but it's I, I know, but it's the most damning too because it's the most relevant. But it shows that you weren't working at a company, or he wasn't working at a company at the time an alleged firing happened. Right. It, it, it proves that he has a license. So I give him props for that. So we were wrong on that. He has a license. But the timeline disproves his narrative that he was fired from a job because he, he didn't have a job. But then you got to remember, you can also work for an LLC and also work with a plumbing company at the same time. Right. Right. But even that LLC isn't in there as a form of registry. No, right? it's in the vi it's in the video. No, uh, it's he on, a, on a license here. I think this I think this site only applies to Arizona. If you look at their main uh if you click on their, their main site at the top left. Okay, like uh Phoenix here. Yeah, if you click that at the top left, I so believe the question, site breaks it down that it is specifically So then my follow up question Arizona. is how, how the 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 way it was easy for him to whip out this Phoenix card on your show, right? Like he also claimed that it did, he it was easy for him to do, right? Why mm. couldn't he just pull out these other cards? From these other states, he said in the he said he said specifically he said stated in the video if anybody else wants to see all this information and I got to keep showing you guys my credentials hit me up let's do the interview and I'll slap them all out for y'all to see he said that in the interview so okay. yeah all right I guess I, I mean here personally I don't think he's gonna answer the call I, I I would like for you to come up here let's talk about it I got questions for you if not it is what it is Aaron Sloan uh. You do what you got to do. I, I we just think like I don't think a lot of the stuff is enough to really prove a whole lot on your side. But the one thing that you did prove is that you got a license. It just proves that you don't have a job yeah. here. And the thing is, all he has to do is give us the name of the company that fired you. That's it. So the reasoning he said he gave us for the reason why he's not uploading the company is because he is actually in a negotiation for his severance. That severance I, pay with the. I, mean, I don't believe that. I mean, it's I, it's it's not up to me to be like. No, I, I, know, wrong, I know, you know, I know, I know. I yeah. Just, I yeah, yeah. I, yeah, this is uh, the reason why I'm saying that and just leaving it at that is because yeah. there'd be more questions I would have to ask you, but you didn't ask you or you don't know the answer, so I would have to ask him. Yeah, because you would know the, the answer. The thing, uh, the thing that I do know is, um, when you work at certain states that are at will, um, you don't. They don't need a reason to fire you per se when you work at an at will state. So yeah, and they don't need to give the reason to give you a severance package. Either. Right. Right. So I, that's, that's why, why that's why people, but the thing that at will states do you allow you to do is you are allowed to dispute with the companies for your severance. Oh, absolutely. That, that, that's, yeah. what, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying, though. It looks bad on him because what his ex is alleging is, and what he confirmed was he used company truck and resources to, you know, for personal use. So that's right off the bat. If you're working at at will state, that's <laughs> enough to fire you, right? So right. it's enough to fire you. It's, it's enough to fire you, but right. it's, it's one of those things is if, if you never got caught, then well, he know. did get caught because he 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 exposed himself on social media. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the fact that he's trying to baby this case and wait for a lawyer, you're already fried, my boy. You barbecue, son. Like you 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 admitted that you did all these. But things. he also he also said he's fighting it because he also has claims that he can put in for racial discrimination on that same job at the at the time. Now the reason why he said racial he's not discrimination. Yeah, he what? said it. Yeah, all this is in the interview. <laughs> all of this is in the interview. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. That's why I'm, I'm able to relay it to you. He also stated he has been facing certain racial discriminations in that same workplace, and that is why he got his attorney to also dispute for his severance. Oh, now, do you know that, that he, look even worse, right? Because then, how do we know for sure it's the women that called? To get him fired, and it wasn't the discrimination part that was really the reason. Really, got, the real reason. Got and that's why. Up. That's why. Also in the video, this he, doesn't look good at all. Also in the video, he debunked the five hundred women calling. It stated in the video as well. He said that that was an exaggeration. He did receive calls. It was not five hundred. He said that out of just 
He was emotional okay, and hysterical. So 500 women. Let's say it wasn't 500. Yeah, right? he said that. He said that in the video. And they called. Right. But the fact that he mentioned it was he was already having racial discriminatory problems at that job right. already, then maybe the main thing wasn't the fact that five women called into his job from a well a, you gotta it, a, here's a, because the reason he got fired was this discrimination and i don't know if, if it was 100 percent right but maybe the reason he got fired was this discrimination thing that, well that so the beautiful thing the beautiful the thing is premise, when you're um but that would mean that the whole premise of the gofundme doesn't make any sense because it let's say if it wasn't 500 women because 500 was a lot let's say it was just five or three women called and got him fired right it still doesn't warrant. I mean, come on, you got to think about this here. Like, now you're bringing up the discrimination part. Where was that along? So, right? Yeah, and again, I I encourage you to ask him that. And uh, I want to your to, chat, I, I to really your would. yeah, to your I chat, want. saying that like that's not a debunk. I'm saying debunk in the terms of he already said that the 500 thing was not the truth. That's why I'm maybe debunk is not properly word, but he admitted on the thing the 500 was exaggeration. Yeah, he said. Video exaggeration right he was yeah he admitted it was an exaggeration it wasn't yeah. that many but it's he said it, it was along the terms of he was getting he was getting a large number of complaints from people uh on the company and the company brought it up the reason what why he said fucking clown over here hold up i'm sorry bro because I, I listen i'm gonna let y'all troll in my chat i'm okay with that but y'all gonna get barbecued when, whenever i see some dumb shit this l hitman x is that you is that no that that this nigga don't look like him? Uh 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 I thought it was weapon X bullshit alt account. Uh listen, bro, uh, you, he says, Duke, you got all the comebacks to make sure this black brother gets buried. How did this all of a sudden turn to race? He's scamming black brothers potentially right now, and we're trying to get to the truth. And me asking questions to potentially prevent black brothers who are supporting this guy from getting scammed is me asking him to bury him. How he's the one that came up with the story we just trying to get to the bottom of it you see how dumb you people think like what the fuck is that how am i trying to get him buried if we're just trying to figure out is this fourteen thousand dollars of black male money locked up is legit or are those black men getting scammed oh but i guess you don't care about the black men getting scammed you just worry about the scammers getting off how, do, how does how does that make me a bad person i'm just trying to ask questions no one else has asked since they've interviewed this nigga this is what everyone wants to know so if that makes me some kind of what, 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 trying to bury him for what? How is that trying to bury him? What is it? Asking the name of the company that fired him to help his case is trying to bury the brother? Are you stupid? Like what kind of what, what kind of mentality is that, bro? You are your attitude. It keeps people back because then those brothers and sisters who donated to that clown, they're the ones who are getting scammed, and you want them to get away with it. So who's really harming the community here? Fuck out of here with that bullshit. That was actually hilarious. I'm sorry, but if you want to troll me, I'm going to have to make you look stupid, bro, because this is a dumb comment. I'm sorry, brother. Uh, uh, you good? Go <laughs> you good, bro? That's uh, hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, I, I don't know where the hell that came from. That was just a dumb thing. I just saw it. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, hold on. Let me get to the super chat real quick. Uh, CD, we, oh, you don't want to timed her out. CD says, I timed her out because she the, all she does is try to find black men who she thinks will speak against other black men. Uh, she was in the chat making it about her as always. Now her followers are in here trolling. Um, listen, if some of the pill poppers on his, his side are going to troll, because I see him here trolling. They're trolling all over the place. Let her side troll, but uh, I, I'm not on, you know, shaming black men or anything like that. Those people that watch the channel, I'm for black folks. So that, you can't even pin me to that category. Y'all know when it push comes to serve, I would disagree with anything that goes against black people or black men or even black women. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not for men. I'm not for team women. I'm for black people. So Again, I, I, I'm I just so pink pill. Just so we're clear, I'm not on that 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 vibe. If y'all on that vibe, I'm for making sure people are neutral. But yeah, um, let's just keep it respectful in the chat, 100. But let's let's. Hey, uh, she's actually a content creator too, so let's just give her that respect too. I mean, it's okay if you other other people if you want to time them out, they're being too crazy. But let's give them the grace of a content creator because content creator is not easy. Um, including yo, let's be respectful to the gentleman um on stage too as well. All right, we gotta be respectful in the chat too. Uh, I know y'all, some of y'all want to keep your keep that. Let, let's be respectful to him, right? He's here. He's telling us, uh, uh, you know, what he thinks and what's going on. So while he's here, let's respect the platform and by respecting him being on here, because that's what we're all about. At the end of the day, we roast people, but if we kind of get answers, let's be respectful. I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead. No, you good. You good. Um, so the answer he gave when okay so i noticed that the company thing is the one of the things i just heard you 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 really you're really yeah. like you really want to know the company thing yeah right 
We did ask him. We did ask him if he could in the interview if he could reveal the name of the company. We asked him on three different occasions in the interview. The answer he gave us was the reason he told NT, uh, MTR that he was not worried about the backlash he was going to receive is because while he's in negotiation with this company, they are on a contract, a contractual obligation. If he speaks with the company's name and the company feels like it's any form of slander or dishonesty, then he is liable. The company can sue him for a minimum of 1 million minimum. So that's why he kept, he said it three times. He broke it down to us, explained it to us on the video. That is why he's saying, give him time, give him time. Because once he gets the severance thing, that contractual obligation is done. And that's why that's the answer he gave us. Now, if you believe that, you know, I, like I told everybody else, if you guys, want to break that down by all means go break it down the, already put the invitation out there again i don't know yeah. how to reach this guy like if he has an instagram maybe i'll try to find he's it on, he, yeah his his instagram is like again, again i know he's watching so it's not one of those things like it's like bro you're you're, you're probably out here I, I let's just be real bro it's not it's not because right. he you, he was just on your show you're here so clearly he knows what's up so it's like bro if you if you if you want i know you're here just click the link well he might not be here yeah. because you got to remember maybe, we recorded, he may, he might not be ready yeah, that video was ready. that video was recorded at 12 a.m so you leave some acknowledgement in the discord or the chat let me know what's up i just know that the invitation is already out there um so you know even your your supporters want to see this conversation so um if you're, if you're ready and you got the answers hop on and we can dig it the link's pinned for you bro so if you're watching right now hop on whenever if not it is what it is hit me up offline um you can go do what you got to do uh but so yeah now, I, I just think it's one of those things where it, it, the questions that need to be answered i personally don't think he'd be able to answer them but i'm always being i'm being willing to be proven wrong prove me wrong right yeah. so the next thing the next thing um since we're just going by the clams so yeah. that's that's why he's not giving the job thing. And that's why I said in my video, I'm not going to drop it because if he gets sued for a million dollars, I don't got a million dollars in my gener in my family's generation. I can't help him pay that. I'm not going to be responsible for that. Um, the next claim for the GoFundMe, we also addressed him. We asked him about the GoFundMe. In the video, there's a part where me and my wife bring up a conversation that we said was on the interview, the first one. This part is why I put the disclaimer on there. This part is on me. This is not on Aaron. Aaron actually did the, the interview we did. There was a segment we had for him where he was supposed to basically tell everybody what he has going on. And this segment was about 20 minutes in the first recording. My OBS, I used to use Streamlabs OBS. My OBS had an issue where about 15 to 10 minutes into the, to the recording when he was talking, um, the screen recording went pure green and my audio sounded like it was basically going through a wood chipper. So I think it had something to do with my PC. We had to stop that part and redo that whole segment over. In that 10 minute recording, initially, the reason why me and my wife were like, oh wait, but you said this about your birthday is because technically in that 10 minute recording, he did say this. But unfortunately for him on our part, he can't use it as evidence because we, we, yeah, we, that's why I said, I had to apologize oh, to him. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Had to, hey, listen, 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 doing, listen, you, no, you, listen, you, hear me out, 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 listen, I knew, listen, listen, I'm new, look, I'm new to OBS stuff, right? I did streaming with Streamlabs OBS, right? Okay. I didn't know that regular OBS was better than Streamlabs OBS, right? Okay, right, right, right. For recording. It's, that's why I said it in the video, because I was like, bro, I'm about to get cooked, because he yeah. couldn't use this as evidence, but technically, this is my fault. Because when he, when that part of that video crashed, we lost 10 minutes of him, of him talking about his birthday plans. And keep in mind, I, I had to stress this, he, in that part, he had already told us how much money he was going to spend, where his money came from. And this was before the GoFundMe even was it, it existed. He, I, I know, I hold him. I, 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 I'll admit I, 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 yeah, I hold him. For actions. His actions, he's acting yeah. like he probably don't have the money he claims he had. That's the actions I get. Yeah. So like, I hold him. I, that's how I judge a man. I'm not judging on what he says. Right. I'm judging what he says or does and that behaves. And, and this is why on your show and all these other shows, it seems like yeah. he really needs that money. Yeah, and, and this is why I feel I this is why also 
I'm like, dang, I kind of got to stay neutral because people are going, well, you spent this month, the GoFundMe money on your birthday, on your birthday. And they're making that claim. I know for a fact he was all, all that birthday money was before the GoFundMe even existed. And I'm, I got happy. I'm like, oh, I can prove this. And right, but do you think that's smart, though, financially to be asking people for go money from me, like a money, knowing fully well your job prospects are he, done? So right? he or only made the. He Does only that make made financial sense to be seen blowing money or like, okay, let me say, like, I'm, what would you do if you were in his shoes? Like, kind of like you asked me earlier, right? If you were right. in his shoes and, you know, you went on this viral show and now, you know, you lost your job because of it, supposedly, right? right? When you lose your job, is the first thing to do to conserve or to go out there and, you know, spend like you still got it? What would you do? Right. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, I like how you're doing your thing. Um, don't don't let the don't let the people you know try to like stop you from being you, bro. You're good, man. At the end of the day, I don't feel like you were too much. I don't feel like you were offensive. I don't feel like you were pressuring me to do anything. Honestly, I felt relaxed this whole conversation. I felt like you were being a solid host. I feel it just genuinely feels like you just want the answers, and it's unfortunate. Every answer that I have for you is just what I put in the video. I I can't make more answers. So I hope you get to it. I hope your audience gets what they want out of it. Again, I'm sorry that I can't be, you know, the thing that y'all want it to be. I can only give you what, you know, what I have. Like everybody wants to think I'm hiding stuff. I, I'm giving y'all what I have. I literally put it on my video. I put it in my comments. I put it, I've said it. I've said it to multiple comments. If I learn anything, I told everybody on that video if i learn anything new i'm putting it and as you guys can see on the pinned comment where you found the links like was it not there that i was constantly putting updates on there when you went to go find that link yeah. so i'm doing everything i'm saying i'm doing if there's information i find out i'm telling y'all just like how he asked to get the interview i sent him the contact i'm 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 being serious at the end of the day i want to know the truth too Y'all yeah. like I just don't want to know if he really did it or not. I want to know too. I feel you. I feel you. And, and shout yeah, out to man. you. And that's the thing. Like you know, I'm 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 harsh. I'm I'm still asking you questions, but yeah, you still felt comfortable. So I hope you guys can understand. If Aaron, if you're watching, I I just sent the invitation. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna have a conversation with you. Yeah, my question is gonna be tough, but I'm not gonna be like like clowning you or anything like that live or anything like that that's not my goal i just want to ask the main questions and whatnot so again so your fan base say i didn't i didn't reach out to him or nothing bro i'm gonna I'm show you guys right here me right here hey it's still go. Don, just going over some info regarding your recent viral experience oh typo uh there were some questions that are still unanswered and i would like to connect with you to further provide clarity reach out when you can respectfully do so you can't see say people i i sent i, I sent him the contact you can't I say I didn't it. contact them. Y'all can't yeah. say I can't. Oh, my bad. Hold up. Let me get you back up here. Uh, oh, you can't say I didn't reach out. It's there. Y'all can't say I, I didn't give him the information. Out. That is the exact same way I'm contacting him. Like I said, so y'all can't say I'm hiding so, him. Y'all can I sent it to him. There you go. Right in front of the guy that interviewed him. Right in front of his fan base that are in, in the chat right now. Some of y'all that support uh, Mr. Aaron over here. Y'all are there. Y'all see me. I did it live. So the Bulls is in his court. If he doesn't want to reach out, it's exactly as I expected because the questions are going to be too hard and he's not going to likely have the answer to those questions. And you can't put that on anybody else but him. So, uh, yeah, shout out to you for being here, man. Uh, thank you for being here. And I mean, you have to be you me you on, That means a lot. Shout out to you. All right. Hey, man, uh, let's get a dub in the chat for uh, a kite and uh, uh, you know, W for his wife as well. Appreciate y'all being here, and, and thank you for shutting uh, the light that you could share with the information you were allowed. No to problem. Get. Hey man, y'all have a good stream, man. Y'all. Of safe. course, of course. Take it easy.